Our tale of the tape is brought to you by House of Nutrition. Marat Gregorian, 28 years old, 5 foot 10, the 71 and a half inch reach. As for Elvis Gashi, he's just 26, never been beaten. 5'9 with a 70 and a half inch reach. Professional experience, Gashi the undefeated, but 74 professional fights. A lot of championship, five rounds experience in those 74 fights. And Marat Gregorian with a 56% KO ratio. But Elvis Gashi does have 110 fights as an amateur. Let's go inside the numbers, and I will tell you this. Of the five losses that Marat Gregorian has, Joe, four of them came to Southpaws, and that's what Gashi is. He's put five men down, has never been down himself. Gregorian has put down 11. Neither man has gone to the canvas. My keys to glory for this belt from Marat Gregorian. He needs to control the pace and use that championship experience that he has. Control the rank pressure, mix his strikes and his levels. Elvis Gashi, he's a southpaw that has a lot of power. He needs to kind of sit there, be confident, and make sure he's able to put his combinations together. One strike at a time won't do it. Championship rules, a little bit different. We'll go five rounds, three minutes each if we need to. Three knockdowns in a round or four in the fight will result in a TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event is between a young New York challenger making a steady unbeaten march through the division and a champion already crowned on two continents. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the first round. The two of them are Eris Jiaxi and the opponent. We are very familiar with Chinese Malata Gerli Gerlian. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association. And at the bell, your referee is Paul Nichols. From China to Chile, Glory fans are tuned in and watching in 180 countries around the world. Shenzhen, Shenzhen, it's time for glory! Let's meet the challenger. Fighting out of the black corner, he is a four-time Kosovo national champion and an IKF US national champion. His professional record, perfect. 23 fights, 23 wins, 11 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At 5 feet 9 inches tall, 1.75 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 154.1 pounds, 69.9 kilos. 黑方选手，国籍美国，年龄二十六岁，身高一米七五，体重六十九点九公斤，职业战绩二十三战全胜，十一次 KO 对手 ，Glory 战绩五战全胜，目前轻量级排名第三。女士们、先生们，掌声送给超神 Harris Garcia。Fighting out of the Bronx, New York, he is Super Elvis Gashi. Here now is his opponent fighting out of the white corner, the 2018 China World Max Tournament Champion, who arrives in Shenzhen on a three-fight winning streak. His professional record, 62 wins, 11 losses, one draw, and 35 career knockouts. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at 153.9 pounds, 69.8 kilograms. 白方选手年龄二十八岁，身高一米七八，体重六十九点八公斤，职业战绩六十二胜十一负，一平一无结果，三十五次 KO 对手，他就是现任轻量级冠军 Marat Gregorian。Fighting out of Armenia, he is the reigning and defending lightweight champion of the world. Here is Marat Gregorian. Once again, your referee in charge of this championship bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? World title fight, I expect you to fight for it. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves, push back. Judge. Elvis Supergashi said he thinks Gregorian won't be that even tough of a challenge for him. Gregorian says, I will break Gashi mentally, I will break him physically. Five rounds for the lightweight championship of the world. 
she's starting really heavy with that left inside low kick. You're gonna see Gregorian slowly stop, try to get Gashi against the ropes. Gashi coming off a 23 second knockout of J-Ho, Justin Houghton. It was the fastest knockout in lightweight history. See that nice tight shell that Gregorian has. Straight left there for Gashi, split the guard. That yeah, made Gregorian kind of reset. Gregorian now chopping the legs. Shut down Gashi's movement. Gregorian thinks he will just wear Gashi down. Gashi thinks he can get a knockout in one of the earlier rounds. Gregorian really attacking that back leg low kick. Gregorian may be one of our most confident champions, although he doesn't exude confidence, Joe. He's the quiet assassin, isn't yeah. he? Always with that nice stoic look, you know, he's just keeps his emotions always in check. He's the guy you don't want to meet in an alley, that's for sure. I like that Gashi's being first. And I mean, if he can control his power and just kind of touch it, may keep Gregorian at bay a little bit. Yeah, I asked you about that yesterday. You thought that maybe Gashi would be circling away and trying to counter punch. Yeah, I, that's still a good strategy. I mean, the first few rounds, I expected Gregorian to kind of take his time to slowly pressure, feel Gashi's power. But I like that Gashi's using that 1-1-2, one, one, not throwing everything with power. And you can see that, you know, Gregorian shells up for those. Both men with similar power, at least statistically. Roughly half of their wins have come by knockout. Both men slipping on this canvas. That's been the story all night, hasn't it? Gosh, he's not going to give him a chance to breathe. He just landed a nice knee. So a good start for Gashi so far. Not a lot of fireworks yet. Break! But conventional wisdom says he needs to win these early rounds if he wants to take this on points. Yeah, I mean, on paper, Gregorian's got to be the favorite in rounds four and five. Yep, Gregorian focusing on that rear leg low kick. the Armenian who lives in Belgium and trains in the Netherlands. He's been everywhere. His signature strike, the right high kick. And after he finally, finally got past Sidichai, he's looked fantastic. His first title defense was against Tajani Bestati, a unanimous decision victory. His opponent, Elvis Gashi, signature strike to left kick as an amateur, 107 with three losses. And Gashi and I have very similar upbringings. We both started our professional careers in Friday night fights in New York City. So that's where we got to build our experience, our record. And both of us got to glory from there. So we're on this, he's on the same path. Fight. Round two scheduled for five. Nice start to the round for Gashi. Yep, it's him being active, I think, is his best strategy right now. Put that volume together. The fact that he's putting things together in combinations is going well for him. Three judges scored that first round for the American as Gregorian starts to let his hands go there. I don't feel like we saw the best of Gregorian in round one. He was holding back, wasn't he? Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna hold back for these first two. Break! That's where Break. I mentioned in my keys of that championship experience. The question is, can Gashi keep this volume constantly attacking for five rounds? And apparently his team in New York with Joe Sampieri saying they focus a lot on their conditioning. Gashi has never lost, Joe. Hasn't really had to face a ton of adversity. Will that play a factor in this battle? 
Well, I mean, he, he's going to learn every second he's in here. He's going to learn so much when he's here with Gregorian. They say there's levels to this game and really any professional sport. And Gregorian is the top level. We'll find out soon if Gashi is on that same path. Gregorian going back to that rear leg low kick. See Rico Verhoeven do that a lot. Yep, I mean, the back leg doesn't get hit as much, so it doesn't take as much. Nice jab from Gregorian. There's a knee and a right hand. You can see with Gregorian. Oh, nice left for Gashi. Yeah, he just ate one. That's good counter punches. Well, you can see Gregorian not throwing everything with power. He waits for that opportunity to unload. But again, another good round so far for Gashi. Does struggle more against southpaws, or has it just been the level of southpaws that he's been facing? Well, I mean, Sinichai is, you know, one of the most difficult southpaws to fight with the experience and as much as he throws. So I don't think it's an issue. He's knocked out many southpaws in his 74 Break. professional fights. He just so happened to be fighting the best. Well, it was certainly a morale booster for Gashi who lands the left hand. He said, "Hey, man, this guy, <laughs> four of his five glory losses have come to left-handers, and that's what I am." Oh, nice little double tap jab and a straight left and another one for Gashi. Yeah, He's having boy. a great round and he just snapped Gregorian's head back. Yeah, good stop, jabs stop. and he's mixing it up well. A Solid round. Bit of an upset in the making perhaps here from Shin Zin. Be sure to visit Glory's Facebook page for highlights of this fight and all of our great bouts. Stay up to date on our news, social media features, promotions, and so much more. In this round, we saw Gregorian really trying to chop away the legs, but the big success was with Gashi using his punches, trying to set up his straight punches, tapping away with the jab, and that's a, a perfect kind of strategy. He's not throwing everything with power, trying to touch, set up the power shot. You can't just get in there and throw one big power shot against Gregorian. Touch with the jab, set it up, stay busy. But there he started changing angles with that, with the lead hand. So far, two Fight. good rounds for Elvis Gashi. And if Gregorian has been holding back, it's time to let it go. Yep. Round three, and he is letting it go. Big swings, and Gashi's going to answer in kind. Gregorian is not playing anymore. Yep, this is it. Let's see. Let's see if Gregorian can take this to the next level. Gashi back to that jab. Pawing away with the lead hand, probably trying to set up his rear straight again. No holding. Elvis Gashi, part of the Kosovo national team, which came to the United States in 2012 to compete in kickboxing. Gashi ended up staying in the country. Said his dream was to come a professional fight for glory, win a world Break. title. Right. Worked 12 no hours a day as a plumber Break. and then trained at kickboxing for six to out six to eight hours a day. Got a call back at Glory 43 on short notice to face Josh Johnson, who was then, I believe, ranked fifth in the world. And Elvis Gashi knocked him out. And ever since then, it has been a, an American fairy tale that could come to an incredible peak here tonight. It was a great career so far for Gashi. You know, Gregorian really chopping away on those legs, and Gashi, you know, doing the right strategy when it comes to the punches. But it, you got to think those low kicks from Gregorian will add up, you know, as the fight goes into the fourth and fifth rounds. Well, I'll tell you what, Gregorian's got to be careful. Because if Gashi wins this round, Gregorian's going to need a knockdown. Yeah, he's going to have to start opening up a little bit more. But those low kicks consistently landing. Ooh, just missing with that left hook. 
was Gregorian. Sometimes Gashi's chin's a little high in the air. It just seemed to be improved for this fight. I found in his uh, previous fights it was a lot higher. Under a minute to go here in the third round. Nick Hemmers, the trainer for Gregorian, shouting instructions. Break! Do you feel that Gashi is beating Gregorian straight up right now, or that Gregorian is just not quite on his game yet? Well, I think the first few rounds he took it easy. I think that the most important rounds are going to be this round four and five. I mean, it's really hard to tell. Well, there's a right hand from Gregorian. And now it's the Armenian who's backing Gashi up. Now, this is where Gregorian's dangerous when he has you hurt against the ropes. He rips the body, rips up uppercuts, and then chops the leg. So a better round, a much better round for Gregorian there in the third. What's Gashi's body language telling you right now? Well, he's, he's definitely starting to fatigue, and I, I can see that in his corner. Starting to deep, uh, breathe a lot deeper. Showing those early signs of fatigue. Awesome. Touch with your jab, straight right, straight left. Got it? Lift his chin and cuff it off. I need more head movement and circle right. Got it? Deep breath. He's going to start to fade now. we got to come on. Mike. Mike like Joseki. Come on. Super Fight! Round four. Scheduled four five. Nice shot there for Gashi. It'll be interesting to see the judges' scorecards. All five giving it to Gregorian. Yeah, it was a strong finish for Gregorian. Did the damage scores there at that last little bit of that round. Gashi has fought five rounds before, but not in this organization, not at the top level. Yeah, in fact, I was this, say it's this this level. The, this is the first time he's seen a round four here in Glory. How will his stamina hold up? Break! Break! Fight! And neither man has been knocked down. But Gashi looking a little worse for wear here as Gregorian's turning it up. Yeah, Gashi needs to start circling more, just not stay in the face of Gregorian. By him circling and jabbing, he was doing well. But if he stands still like this, this is where Gregorian's going to be able to chop away. He's got to see if you can find that energy to keep moving. When you say he needs to circle away, does he need to circle to his right or to his left? Well, it's going to be to his right because Gregorian's attacking that rear leg. So it's when he anticipates the low kick, he almost needs to pivot out. Take away some of that power, take away the impact. Gregorian leading in the kicks category, and it's not that close. Yeah, this is professional experience here. Not a lot of mustard on those punches from Gashi, and he just ate a right hand, and he is in serious trouble here. Yeah, and I think it was the body shot from Gregorian. I think Gashi's hurt to the body right now. And he finally circles away, but it might be too late as Gregorian's got that look in his eye, down to the body, yep. uppercut, and another one. As I said, Gregorian is going to attack the body, mix uppercuts. Gashi still fighting back. He's landing punches, but they don't have nearly the strength that Gregorian's have. This is why Gregorian's dangerous. It's his pressure fighting. When he has you hurt against the ropes, this is what makes him the most dangerous. And he's in peak physical condition, and kudos to his training staff, led by Nick Hemmers. All of his fighters are always in great condition. Yeah, that Gregorian left hook to the body. It's just nasty. The way he mixes the uppercuts. Gosh, he has no bounce in his step at all right now. He's just shelling up against target. Yep. Oh, one, two from Gregorian. Trying to work the body. 20 seconds to go here in the fourth. Kick just misses for Gregorian. Yeah, Gregorian, one of Gregorian's favorite strikes, the right high kick. Ten seconds left. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, those uppercuts just split in the guard. And Gashi was in, in real trouble there, having his lights knocked out. Round four, all Gregorian, and just what he does best, pressure fights, gets you against the ropes. He's going to defend and make sure he counters. And when he throws, you're going to see him change levels, mix his strikes. And I think in that round there, he found his right hand and that left shot to the body. And you see the way Gashi shelled up, that, that landed. And then that smart decision to throw the knee and then mix his punches again. Just intelligent fighting, those uppercuts splitting the guard of Gashi. I mean, Gashi's legs hurt now, so that's probably why it's, it's hard to move, but a good pressure fighter knows where you're gonna move. He punishes you for moving. When you're against the ropes, you can only go left and right. And Gregorian will punish you whatever way you decide to go. As unlikely as it seems, if somehow Gashi can win this fifth round, he could win the fight. We look at the totals from the judges' scores, all five giving that fourth round to Gregorian. Three judges have it even. Can Gashi muster up a minor miracle here in Shenzhen? What does Gashi need to do now, considering the level of fatigue he has? Well, I mean, his legs hurt. He's taking some big shots. I mean, at this point now, I think you should shell up. And then once you see a little pause in Gregorian after he throws, makes one good power counter shot. So you're looking for the knockout. Yeah, you have to. I mean, you don't have the conditioning to be able to put the jabs together that he was so successful with. Gregorian's closing that distance, so shell up. When the opportunity comes, rip a hard counter shot. Keep in mind, Gregorian, or Gashi for that matter, have never been knocked down. Left hand for Gashi. Break! He's landing punches, but Break. they really aren't affecting Gregorian at all. But he's staying off the ropes, which is better in this round. He's not just sitting against the ropes, he's coming forward, he's throwing a little bit more. Well, here's the most important 90 seconds of Gashi's career. Can he find that second win? He's still in this round, Joe. Yeah, he's throwing, he's mixing well. I mean, this is where now Gregorian just pushed him back and said, that's enough. Well, his chin is there, his hands are down. Gashi playing with fire here, there's his corner. Just over a minute left, that left hook right on the chin. Oh, Gosh, you got caught rocked. again. He's definitely rocked. Oh, oh he's out. Right. Left Nichols. face down goes Gashi. Paul Nichols waves it off. And still, Marat Gregorian, the lightweight champion of the world. And I think, you know, a tougher fight than Marat Gregorian expected, but that's a champion who has experience, and he just defended his world title for the second time. I will break him mentally, I will break him physically. That was the promise Gregorian made, and he delivered. Yep, stayed patient the first two rounds, and then when the opportunity was there to let go, he just did that, and nice late round stoppage for Marat Gregorian. Great effort by Elvis Gashi, especially early, but in the end, He's just not quite at Gregorian's level, and few fighters are. Yeah, and I mean, know how much he's gonna learn from this fight? It's incredible. So, I mean, yes, it's one loss on your career, but hey, it's to Marat Gregorian, one of the best pressure fighters in the game. So, I mean, he's gonna learn a lot from there, but you see Gregorian, you know, pushed him against the ropes, found the right hand, followed up with the left hook, and then got that knockout finish there, boom. Just perfectly timed, perfectly set up throughout the whole five rounds of the fight. A nice overhand right, finished it off with that left hook. Marat Gregorian has 10 wins in glory, five of them by knockout.
Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our referee, Paul Nichols, steps in and waves off this contest with an official time of two minutes and three seconds of that fifth and final round. 我们的场上裁判在第五回合两分零三秒终止了比赛。This bout ends by knockout for your winner and still lightweight champion of the world, Marat Grigorian. TKO 的方式仍然是我们的现役冠军 ，Marat Grigorian. Presenting the belt. Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Marshall Zelaznik. Thank you, our two leaders, Mr. Marshall, for giving the fighters a hand. I'm here with your winner, Marat Gregorian. Was this a tougher fight than you expected? Yes, yes. It was a good. This is our now current champion, the current champion, Marat Gregorian. In front of him, this fight was a very difficult fight. Yes, it was a good fight. But the, the ring was very sleepy. Uh, I can show my p good p performance well, but it's, it's, it's okay. I knock him down, so I'm happy. This fight is indeed very difficult, but I myself have a little bit of a drunk and not a lot of strength, so I didn't show so well in the front, but in the back I won the fight. You seem to have started a little bit slower, but as the fight went on, you picked it up. Was that the game plan to look for the finish in the later rounds? You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in the later rounds. You started to look for the finish in 刚开始的时候，的确是有一个小关爱，我要过一下，然后场地上还有点湿滑，但是后边我就没问题了。You have a lot of fans here in China. You have a message for them. They're all waiting for you. 现在现场有你很多的粉丝，想对粉丝说什么 ？Thanks to all my Chinese fans. I love you, and I hope to see you soon. 好，感谢现场的粉丝，我爱你们，我会做得更好。Now that you defended again successfully, is there someone that you have an eye on next for another title defense? 啊、uh, ，你现在是冠军了，那你还有什么人想打在你的卫冕腰带战中进行对战呢 ？Everybody, everybody is welcome for me. I don't care who is my opponent. That's it. I'm ready for everybody. 啊、uh, ，马拉特一直就是说 ，anytime, anywhere, any man， 随时随地，任何人我都可以打。Let's hear for your lightweight champion, 